Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Everspace. I'm out here in the scout ship this time. I haven't tried this out before other than very briefly at the end of the previous episode. As you can see, you begin life with a beam laser. Very powerful weapon and quite effective. Now this ship is very nimble, very very fast and hopefully it should be quite fun to play. There's a bit of scrap over there, I'm going to go and get that. Who knows what this ship will be like once it's fully upgraded. Now I haven't got any upgrades on here of any type. No perks on this particular ship yet because as yet I haven't actually used it. So here we can see inside the cockpit. I prefer not to really fly inside the cockpit. Aside from it looking very nice, I don't think it gives you quite as much in the sense of spatial awareness as you can get when you're flying outside. So let's see what uh, stuff is around here. Here's some minor ball fuel. We'll certainly have that. You can see I've used up a quarter of the fuel I've already got. Let's see if there's enough here to fill that other quarter of a circle up. A quarter of a tank perhaps fully mined. Yep, and we're back to 100% fuel, so very nice. Let's see what else is out here. Freighter wreck. So if I can find the uh, resources to... Didn't think that was going to open him. Then damage limiter. Energy injector... Reduce any incoming damage for a short amount of time. Uh, I don't really want that. I'm going to salvage it. So, uh, oh, need to clip myself. What else have we got around here? We've got some fighters. And that seems to be pretty much the extent of it, doesn't it? I'm not going to waste a scan probe just yet, as I'm only in the second zone of the first sector here. So let's get going then. Oh. We'll go and check out these items here, just in case, you never know, sometimes there's some interesting things dotted about. So a mining drill, shooting off into the emptiness of space, for some strange reason. So off we go then. And you can see the energy usage of the equipped, equipped items actually reduces my total energy down quite a little bit. That's marked by the red bar on the target reticule there. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to the area there then. These areas actually look a little bit harder than you might initially expect. See, all of these are of the higher difficulty. I could have gone the easy route, but I've chosen to go the slightly harder route. Not that it makes too much difference in this particular sector anyway. Loving this asteroid field. This looks a lot more dense than we normally see. So what have we got? I can use some energy injectors, but I haven't got any scan probes anyway. So much for me earlier saying that I'll perhaps use a scan probe. Because quite clearly, I haven't actually got any. Let's see if we can fly through here, shall we? Without trashing the ship. And there's a tech container in here. Great, got a new blueprint there. Okay, what else can we find? I don't think we're going to be able to use anything just here just yet anyway, because I haven't got any resources to do that. Oh, I've got a few resources, but nowhere near enough as yet. Lots of wrecks around here, abandoned ships. Great, don't they? Looking inside, seeing the multiple bulkheads and the various decks. So I guess... Oh, there's mine aboard all day. I do want that because more than once I've run out of fuel. When getting deeper into space. Thought I heard something coming in there. So as you can see, we've also got a cloak. That's on the... down to the R key by default. And that is pretty handy because... Makes your ship invisible, it means you can't be seen. And you can therefore sneak up on people. Now, just like as in Star Trek, you can't fire when cloaked. And if you do get too close to enemies, they do seem to notice you anyway, but... Or at least what's happened in the first zone, when I experimented with this. So, no enemies are coming at any rate. Let's jump to the next zone then. Seem very, very sparse, very empty, these areas this time around. Good thing in a way because it allows you to progress through a little bit faster, but not so good 
Because, well, really, it means you don't gain any resources, not even any credits for the kills. I'm only at 600 credits here, and look already. Even still, there's no enemy ships here. So let's get that process. I've got to be careful of not boosting too much here because it does use up the available energy. And if I'm jumped upon, I'm not going to be able to defend myself. Oh, look. Some credits over there. Looks like the spiral of a galaxy over there in the distance. We're getting slightly closer to that, I do believe. Unless that's the same distance as the previous zones. It looks a little bit closer, though. And some mineable ore. Plenty of mineable stuff around here. It's actually quite a resource-rich area, relatively speaking, to what you'd normally expect. So we'll see how this ship actually goes in combat, but I actually quite like it. Mainly because it's so fast, so nimble. You can see there I just saved myself from crashing into the side of the asteroid and had it been one of the other ships I probably would have smashed myself up quite good and proper there where did those bits drift up to did I pick them up or not some of the crystal seems to have flowed out into space odd don't seem to have picked up I'm wondering if the drone come and got it obviously it didn't but it for a moment it felt like that so that's what those beam lasers should be doing, actually mining asteroids, unlike the one we saw previously. So one more mining ball crystal in here. Let's get that, and uh, there's some hostiles en route. Looks like they're being dealt with by some of the other friendlies in the area, at least for now. But let's head on over there and see if we can help them out a little bit. Mineable scrap. There's stuff laying about all over the place. Okay, so the scouts look like they're doing quite well here. It's certainly not facing too much of a problem with the uh, GMB people here. And you can see that the beam does do quite a lot of damage relatively quickly. But it also uses up my energy very quickly. Plasma torpedoes. Do I really want them? We've got some stasis missiles. I think I'll stay with the stasis missiles for now and we'll uh, salvage that particular item. So slowly accumulating the resources here, I might soon have enough for some uh, in-game in upgrades. Let's have a look. I usually always like to upgrade the shield first if I can. Oh, we're short of power cells unfortunately. Two upgrades we can try. Surprising that uses so many processors. Hmm. Perhaps we can upgrade the... So do we want to upgrade the uh, range or do we want to upgrade the damage? Range I don't mind because it's very easy to get up close. So we'll increase the shield damage of that particular module. And let's see. Hopefully we've still got enough to... Yep, we're still fine here. So... We can slowly work towards the shield upgrade as well. Oh, they all need power cells, unfortunately. I don't want to remove that. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about the shock rifle just for now because I haven't actually been using that. Let's have a quick look at it, though. You can see you have multiple charges on that. You can do a quick blast like that. Tiny little minute bit of damage it does. Or you can build right up and get a powerful charge off. Be interesting to see how much damage that actually does to the uh, ships. I assume that's best used for hulls. Uh, shock rifle, hull DPS, shield DPS equal. Hull DPS, 48 per second, 52 per second. So they're all relatively equal in terms of whether I should use them for shield or hull, which makes a bit of a change. With the other uh, other ship, the Interceptor, I believe it is, you really need one weapon for the uh, shield and another for the hulls. At least it's best to use it that way, I find. 
before I go to the next sector, I'm going to check out the comms hub here. There's probably something I need to hack. And it may well, if I'm fortunate enough, with all some resources in this particular area. Oh, we've got a container here. Some credits. Here we go. We're hacking at the comms hub. And what is that going to tell us? Have we got anything out here? GMB container. GMB credits transport. Very, very tempting that one. Trader. Let's have a look at the GMB credits transport. Where did it go? Quite a long way away though. Sooner or later I'm going to get the um, baddie ships coming in. If you hang around too long you get quite some powerful little guys coming after you, so yeah. It's the first time I believe that I've seen a credits transport though, so I want to see what that's all about. Do I dare attack them? And if I do attack these, obviously all the GMB people around here will go hostile to me. And in a recent patch, they actually made it so that they will also be hostile to you in the next zone as well. Because you used to be able to go hostile to these, jump to the next zone, and they wouldn't actually uh, be hostile at that point. That is to say, they'll only be hostile if they manage to get a signal off. Oh, look at that. A lot of damage on this thing. Here we go. I'm not hanging around for that. It was worth a try, wasn't it? Now, I can't cloak, unfortunately. Now, obviously, I've got to sit around when I get to the jump gate. I'm going to die here, but... You know, it was worth a try because I would have always have wondered what that would have been like. That's just too much. I'm not going to bother repairing here. I actually do like this ship though. A nice little run through. Go on, go on, go on. Are we going to make it? Surprisingly we did. Look at that. Almost no hull left. Unfortunately your GMB are now going to be hostile when I get here as well, so... As that is, if there's some GMB people here, and they may not be. Let's get the mineable gas at any rate. And we'll see if we can repair, I guess, while we're here. But I don't believe I've got any nanobots. No, I haven't. Didn't think I'd managed to find any of them just yet. Like I say, worth an attempt. Who's attacking me? Gel. I don't see that around too often. Okay, what else have we got around here? Some more mineable crystals. I'm not too worried about that because I've got enough for the moment. But then again, you can never really have enough of any resource in this game. Let's get inside this uh, little asteroid here then. Maybe there's a container in here actually if I'm lucky. There we go, hey, a little bit of crystal. And no container. Some scrap over there though. Oh, I don't want to go through the lightning field. I'm not in the best of health at the moment for that. Well that's sad. So let's go then and let's move on. Maybe I'll find some nanobots if I keep moving. Are you gonna take it? Look at that. Extremely dangerous. So far, I've only seen low risk, medium risk. So I was actually incorrect earlier. I actually said this was one of the, this color, this faded red was actually a high risk area, but I did choose the easier route rather than the more difficult route. Should we have a look at the high risk one and just see what it's like? Why not? Should have actually checked to see what's a little exclamation mark here. There's something there, natural hazard. Ooh. If you are willing to take the risk, this area of high level activity might be worth your while. So there's a oh Okar fighter, but before I could even get there. So you can see the stasis missile has actually frozen the person in place there. I think I might have accidentally used my uh cloak as well, unless that's part of the Functionality of this stasis missile. Come on. 
Right, it seems that you actually need to go, or I actually need to get a little bit closer to collect some of the resources here. So I think I've got used to the upgrades that I've made previously on my other ship, which allow me to uh, pull in the upgrades at a bit of a distance. They've locked onto you. Yeah, but which ones? These ones. Oh, cool. went very quickly there. Not to worry, we got a bit of money there. Actually, more credits than I'd realised I actually picked up. So let's see what we're going to spend them on. Do we stick with the scout ship here? Or do we go with the uh, interceptor again? Now, I'm not a big fan of the gunship at the moment. Maybe something I'll have a look at again a bit later on. But the thing is, I've spent a lot of time and money on the interceptor here so I think for now this is what I'll be sticking with let's put some more upgrades into it so we can improve the nanobot deficiency how much is that gonna cost oh it's getting a little bit expensive isn't it not worried about trading not too worried about retrieval at the moment mainly I prefer to <coughs> excuse me stumbling Stumbling over my words here. Mainly I'd prefer to look for a shield upgrade if I can get it here, but it doesn't look like I've got anything like that to hand. Can't afford the hull upgrades. Can't afford speed upgrades. Get a nice uh, max engine speed though. Energy capacity, energy regeneration. Oh, what to choose, what to choose. Yeah. This is always nice because you start with quite a bit of resources. Uh, where am I at the moment? I don't know where I'm starting at with the moment on that. So I'm either going to go for a speed upgrade or I'm going to go for a couple of these. Let's go for a couple of these. And we're going to launch out again in the uh, interceptor. And we start with some resources at this time round. So we're going to jump straight into that menu and have a look to see if what, if anything, I can upgrade straight away here. Down here you can see what I've actually got. Which is actually pretty good, so I'm going to jump in and see if we can upgrade the shield straight away. Unfortunately, not quite enough for that yet. But I wouldn't mind some more weapon upgrades if they're possible. Range mod. Oh, I don't know. I'm never worried about ranges, as I said earlier. But unfortunate then. Not to worry. Combat assistance has been requested against reading outlaw elements. So there we go, we've got a mission already, we've got to destroy six targets. So nice to get a mission like this so early on because that is certainly going to be a nice boost to the amount of credits received, all the more so because this early on, ships are very very easy to kill. Although this one seems to be evading a bit. Making relatively short work of these people here, yeah, gotcha. There we go. Got them. Yeah, it's definitely something being changed in regards to the distance you need to get to retrieve some of these items here. You used to be able to suck them in from quite a distance. So, I don't know quite when that was changed or why. You have received a credit reward. The payment has been transferred. Look at that, some nanobots. So I'm going to head back over here and see what what I got actually got dropped from the other kills. Shield breaker missiles. Not too worried about them. Let's salvage them though. Now 
did I get anything dropped just now? Uh, let's just get the fuel, I guess. This poor little guy hasn't got too much health left. Oh, we don't need any fuel, do we? Well, I guess that's it. Let's keep going. 3,000 credits already. A very nice start. So, which way do we want to go? I guess it doesn't really matter too much. We'll just stick with the one that's already selected here. And a lovely looking lava world there. Oh, jumping signal suppressed. So, we'll get rid of these and... Unless these ones are closer. We'll get rid of these and... Have we got to get him? The other one went down pretty quickly. This one had some shields, but they're gone. I actually think this is the highest amount of credits I've earned this early on into a run. It's normally at least the end of the first sector by the time I get that amount of credits. Just all depends on what spawns I guess in the zone you're in. Souls. Picked up another weapon there, scatter gun. I hadn't realised I'd picked that up. There we go. Sometimes in the midst of combat you end up picking up weapons and other such things and I don't always end up noticing that I've actually collected them. So yeah, it looks like those credit rewards were actually a bounty of some type from... ...from something that was going on a mission. Just looking there, hesitating, because I'm kind of wondering how many are going to spawn out of the little jump points there. This could be a sticky situation here. I think we're alright, I won't worry too much. So, nearly, nearly got them all. So one more here, he's been a little bit evasive, and now he's gone. So, what next then? Well, you can see that the jump signal is actually suppressed, so we're going to need to find that, and then we can get our way out of here. Just going to try out this scatter gun here. Quite nice. Hmm, curious as to whether that'd be worthwhile using against on a ship. But I do prefer the pulse laser and then switching to the Gatling gun. Seems to be very, very effective. Alright. Let's see now if we can find that jump signal suppressor. Somewhere around here. The signal's getting stronger amongst these asteroids, perhaps. Here? Maybe. There it is. Jump signal suppressor. Get close enough. We should be able to hack it. And put a stop to it. But we're under attack already. Didn't pay attention to the turrets here. Whew. That was actually far harder than I was expecting there in terms of the amount of damage they dealt. Alright, there's another one up here. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. So I've destroyed that one with a missile. Must have missed it. Oh. Now one thing about the uh, beam laser that I had on the other ship is that it's actually very, very good for firing, uh, shooting down missiles. All 
right, there we go. We'll now hack the little node here. And then we can get out of here. Let's check out this tech container though. Shock rifle. Probably actually a pretty good weapon. Uh, let's have a look. Hull damage. Hmm, nothing special perhaps. We'll keep the scatter gun and salvage the shock rifle. So that's it. Let's get out of here then. We're on our way. And I think that is where we'll leave it for this particular episode. We'll pick back up from here next time. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.